um twitch are we cooperating actually okay had been having a couple issues with that the last couple times i started streaming so i'm glad to see the twitch is cooperating today hello everyone welcome on in to my predictably tardy saturday stream <laughs> i'm gonna do the normal start a stream stuff get a quick oh they updated that i'm gonna do a, i'm like easily distracted um a tweet a discord and of course if you are in the future on youtube and you love nail art please feel free to subscribe to my channel my simple little pleasures for uh edited tutorials as well as these live stream archives and if you'd like to join me live you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash colette mslp so i have somewhat a limited like amount of time because i'm late because i was up late because i slept late because i didn't feel good this morning because 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 um and it's also like not it's not cold in here but it's not like what i would consider an appropriate temperature for water marbling so i think for the moment i am I don't want to say I'm tabling the idea because that makes it sound like I'm putting it to the side and I don't plan on getting back to it. But I am for the moment moving away from the idea of uh, the water marble and foil combination that I was initially thinking about for my depression awareness manicure. Son, yo! <laughs> With the Prime Resub, 14 months. Thank you so much for the support, yo. I hope you're doing well. Um, Yeah, so nails nails are already naked. Camera is not really... Why are you so loose over here, camera? Oh, it's this thing. Um, I'm looking for a tool to connect as a screwdriver. This will work, maybe. Sorry, guys. This, uh, like this uh, hot shoe I have... It's got like a little screw that sometimes gets like a little bit loose. Okay. Um Luke. Luke, it was it was so painful, but it was so good. Oh my god. I felt so bad for you, but it was it was really highly entertaining. I uh you you hung in there, dude. I mean it took me many, many room randos before I completed one at all, so like seriously gg um luke stream went until about 6 a.m for those who may be wondering i think and then cake's stream had to be fucking interesting and i was also i was in the middle of editing so i didn't actually want to just like go directly to bed and stop editing because that video that went up today on youtube was you know uploaded at about seven o'clock this morning um basenji thank you for the host and son, thank you for the shout out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, same Luke. Um, but yeah, I like it was. Well, you were lost, but it was trolling the fuck out of you. Like you would find a new spot, and it would be like, oh, finally, we found a transition, and it's like, meh, dead end. Or I just dropped my glasses too, by the way, while I was trying to clean them. Or it would just be like a relic or it would be something just like completely pointless. You never did find Sally, did you? Man. It really though, I was like, man, because I had considered, I was like, maybe next time I do a room rando, I won't draw a map and I'll just see. I'll just see what happens. Cause I've never like watched anybody else's room rando without a map for that long. And you were just like, I've been here a million times and I'm sorry for the, I'm trying to get in the angles where I'm not got like sun in my face, but, um, yeah, we, I need to, we're, we're doing something green. I'm honestly, I'm not even a hundred percent sure that it's going to be nail art because due to my lateness, I've now like, it's like 440. And, you know, I would like to take a dinner break before race night. So, like, I need to, um, because it is a race night week. Um, so yeah, I need to, like, do something. But my nails are looking, like, better. This is maybe too close. The white balance does not like it. 
um, okay, you stop that and you not quite this close. Okay, like maybe like that. So we've got like short nails. And for some reason, like, does anybody else notice this? Like when your whole nail is stained, you don't notice it as much as when the stain starts to grow out and then the stain is mainly at the tips. Mm. Ooh, pouring rain. No, I'm sure we have either that or snow to look forward to in the coming week. Okay. So I did have an idea of a manicure that I think I could accomplish in fairly short order. The other thing too is like, I'm running out of time to get this up on YouTube by the end of October. The next, the next thing to go up has to be the, the breast cancer awareness manicure. But then fucking like, it's November on Friday, y'all. Like, how did that even happen? And November is my anniversary month and I have not even started that project. <clears throat> hey, Amethyst. Oh, you're not mad I'm late because you're late too, son. Um, okay. Beanie is on the bed. Let's see if we can. Hey. Okay. Come here. Come on. It's treat. It's treat for Beanie. Come on. It's a treat, man. I promise it's a treat that I already had out and ready for you. He's such a dick right now. He just is being rude. He doesn't want to hang out, you guys. I'm sorry. Why would it? Oh, that sucks, Amethyst. People quit at the end of the month? Or people are let go at the end of the month? trying to remember i think i quit in the middle of the month well it was it was the end of the month when i gave my notice <laughs> but i ended up staying longer than planned for a couple reasons so both i was thinking maybe i could just do like a quick green waterfall you guys know what i mean like a stripe waterfall I'm not sure if I would want to do like from the cuticle or from the tip, probably from the tip, like with a black base and then a green waterfall. An LG G6. I need to, I need to deal with my phone situation, but I need to deal with my car situation first. I might end up having to not not just visually but because like it's literally like piercing into my eyeball and then I'm like seeing spots in my eyes okay so like green polishes okay so here's a quest well no I've just answered my own question before I could even ask it I was thinking does a waterfall need to be more than one color but I've done single color waterfalls before now that I think about it um, I have at least one particular green in mind. Um, I should be able to find it pretty shortly. Um, okay. Mm, not in that drawer. Maybe in this drawer? Um, no, there's more pixie dusts. It's a Zoya holographic that I have in my mind. Um, there you are. What is your name? Marida. Merida. Merida, somebody told me. 
Okay. <gasps> oh no! Shit. <sighs> that was my tea and it was not closed. It actually didn't spill very much, surprisingly. It kind of did like a somersault. Fuck, why does shit like this always happen when I'm short on time? What did I even do? I don't even know. I'm I'm carefully reining in my rage right now because like rage is not conducive to nail art. And I'm glad that it didn't spill worse than it did. But like I don't know, there's just like splatters of tea all over my helmers. Oh my god. <sighs> hey Ash. I just uh yeah, I just got a bunch of shit wet with tea. We're having a super great time. Including, like, this power strip. Um, luckily, nothing is, like, sparking or smoking. <sighs> well, the thing is, if it was on my desk, like, if it was any closer to my electronics... I would have had it closed. But like, since I was going to be streaming and since I was going to be doing my nails, I just had it like, you know, it's one of these. So it just wasn't, I mean, it closes when it's closed, but it's also like almost difficult to open again. So Anyway, we found our first polish. The sun is no longer blinding me. That could have been worse. The cat hates us. Ash, he won't... I, there's a treat. This, this is a treat. Waiting for him. He's right there. He's just so rude right now. Fine. Wait, did it literally take all night, Amethyst? Oh, man. Um, okay. Merida. It's a very lovely green hollow. It's not focusing in the camera, but you can see the hollow. To a point. You know, about as, about as well as you ever do under this lighting. Anyway, okay, so like that over like a black base, like a, uh, like a one coat black base probably. Do we want to make the black hollow? He went to take stuff out and ended up with twice as many in there. Um, not flaky. Probably scattered if I was to do it. Like just to give it a little oomph, oomph, da. Um. Yeah, this is what we're doing. What kind of a what kind of a brush do I want? Do I want a striper, or do I just want like a small brush? I got some of my brushes in a YouTube mug now. I wasn't sure what to do with it because obviously I would never have a drink in something like this at my desk for obvious reasons. Um. So I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this at first, but then I was like, well, let's, 
let's put brushes in it and shit. Well, and a, and a ruler. <laughs> um, yeah, tried those. And what do we have here? Here, where's my, it's probably one of these. trying to think of what I usually use when I do waterfalls if I like like a small brush or if I like like more of a striper there's this small one and then what are these see these are no these are not Ooh, get get in there with your weird self mm. We've got the, uh... okay, I guess that's the top. <laughs> uh, uh... Uh -huh. Like there's a longer one in here. That one, that one's like goofily long. Like I don't want to use that. And then there's like, There's like this one. I think I like this one. That'll probably be what I'm going to use. I should just on stream one day figure out how to use the damn label maker and label these brushes. Or it's never, like it's never going to get done. Ah, uh, hey bro. Yeah, I just, I know, like, as careful as I am, this one is quite small, too. Like, it's just, do I want a longer one or a shorter one? I, th I think I want the longer one, but I'll maybe leave this one out. Um, you know, I have memories of, like, knocking over full cups of water or shit like that. And it's just like, I don't want to have that risk at all. I guess maybe I'll put this back up here. Around like my computers. Like the Helmers are one thing, but see now I, I keep closing it out of paranoia now. Um, I don't know if anything's been announced yet, Amethyst. Cause uh, Pancakes was doing some game I had not heard of trying to think so I don't know whether anything's been posted since like earlier when I looked <laughs> okay I think both of those are probably going to be too long let's just stick those back in here um I think we're just going in, you guys. We're we're just fucking gonna do it. Um, Cause I've only got an hour. What am I looking for? I was gonna put this down and then I was gonna reach for what self? Shit, I haven't refilled my sesh feet. My sesh feet is almost empty. I was gonna order, well I said it on Discord too, I was gonna order some uh, kittens. <laughs> the drive-by ad bomb. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the bits and the Tominata bits. That was, that was really bad, I'm sorry you guys. I, I'll reconsider future Arnold impressions. Um, I meant to refill this though. I would like to try the super glossy taco, but I wanna like just do one order and I want to try the long-lasting base and the long-lasting base isn't out yet. So, okay, here's acetone. The camera's hooked up. The cat is being a dick. My hips are really, really bothering me. Like, I'm walking with a visible limp, and so I'm sorry if I'm, like, a little fidgety, like, <laughs> trying to find a comfortable position hey congratulations kittens 
<laughs> 13 exclamation question mark what yeah i think you know a lot of people enjoy like a calm low-key stream i mean i can lay claim to that like sometimes mm. but uh i would say probably mostly not whether it's just whatever kind of fuckery whether i'm just knocking my tea over like an idiot there's always something going on here i'm really very proud of myself i don't think i i cursed at all when that happened i was just numb inside <laughs> mm. um the uh that was back in stock son yesterday you might want to check if it if it's still or if it's sold out again. It was uh the the Peely launch and then I looked on the site and the long lasting and the smoothing base coats are like on there but they're still listed as coming soon. And then the two top coats and then the launch collection was back in stock it said. Although I didn't like go and like double check that it was all of them, but I think it was all of them. All right, left hand done. They're so, oh. Some of my older videos, like my nails are so long. I kind of miss it sometimes. Although I'm a firm believer you can do nail art on whatever size nails that you so happen to have. Yeah, well, it's like, this is the first time. I mean, I know, you know, eventually I'm going to have to have something medically done. I'm already older than my brother was when he got his first hip replaced. Um, my dad had both of his done before he was 50. Degenerative joints, like, run in his side of the family. So, like, my hips and my knees, like, it, it's nothing new that they suck. But this is the first time that it's been, like, you know kind of what I would describe as an excruciating pain for like days on end you know like it's it's difficult to walk usually it's easier to ignore but but anyway and I mean even sitting too which is kind of awkward because it's like you know what am I supposed to do I can't lay in bed all day I mean I could but I'm not going to you know, it's very difficult to sit without putting weight on your hip. And also, like one thing that I found early on in my, you know, physical maladies, I don't know, I'm not trying to be too dramatic about it. But like, if you try too much to overcorrect for something that's hurting or whatever, you're gonna like literally hurt yourself in another way from being so crooked. You know, you start sitting sitting to the side to try and ease your hip and all of a sudden before you know it, you got a back problem. Like, I'm not trying to exacerbate it. But I'm, you know, looking for distractions and nail art is a good distraction. So this like hopefully goes super smoothly. Like waterfalls are fairly easy to do. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, what I would consider a lot of payoff for fairly simple technique um and fast also so let's see if we can do nail art in an hour speed run nail art speed run y'all maybe i should put speed run in my tags <laughs> mm. yeah well the thing is like even with my short nails i do stuff that's like so clumsy where it's like i know that if my nails had been longer that it would have been like a horrible break situation like when you you know do stuff that ends up with that sort of a thing and you're like you feel like it's a near miss and you realize that if your nails were you know like that long that it would not have been a near miss it would have been a catastrophe and sometimes it's like i'm not always displeased with them like they were looking so good with that pink gradient the reciprocal gradient that turned out like I don't want to say flawless because I mean I could pick it apart but it turned out so good I was so happy with that but then there's like a little like imagine what it would have looked like 
if it was just like shoom, just a little bit longer water marbling especially but you know like i said you can do nail art on whatever kind of nails you just gotta accommodate <clears throat> so let's not dilly dally let's move along starting off with clean dry nails we're going to begin with a base coat i'm using ready for takeoff which is a peel off base and you can use whichever is your personal favorite Yeah, I think the Peely base, I mean, obviously, Christine is as known for Peelys as for Hollows, kind of. <laughs> so I don't think she's going to come up short on the peel-off base coat. And, you know, ready for takeoff, I enjoy some aspects, but... I mean, if hers has, like, good wear and good peel, like, I'm more, I'm, I'm interested in the, in the super glossy, but I mean, I love Sesh Feet. I can't say that I love Ready for Takeoff. And Ready for Takeoff is also, like, not cheap. Like, it's kind of comparable in price to the Peely Base. Whereas Sesh Veed, especially if you buy it in the gigantic container, um, is like pretty cheap compared to the super glossy taco. Oh no, amethyst. You gotta use the stuff. <laughs> the serious voice. Um depending what you mean like I haven't or have I I haven't recently tried like a household magnet I'm trying to remember if I ever did like when I was when magnetics first came around and were kind of hot like I'm gonna say probably over five years ago um but you can use like magnets from different sets with different brands um it all kind of just depends you know uh, one thing i do with magnetics a lot is like if you have a bottle that has like a clear spot you know where you can get like a good amount of polish you can test the magnet right there and see kind of how the polish reacts or what kind of an effect it gives or swatches although i mean it's not always entirely accurate i was not super thrilled like with the, la the that one magnetic I was going to use and my tests misled me but yeah I mean it, it's all just the same uh, principle do you guys want to be a little closer probably should maybe maybe just a tad tad bit did I just no I didn't mm, like that <clears throat> yeah exactly i mean yeah yo i i feel that and two like i'm not gonna lie i i love not having to deal with patches um you know for a while it was like pff, patches city you know whatever you want to say about it it was like guys fucking too many patches so i don't miss that and i don't think like i would be able to maintain that if my nails were a lot longer than this like a little bit this is like the short end of the comfortableness and i've had like this one in particular in fact it's still kind of lopsided i keep having the corner break off and then i just file it short and then i file the rest of them to match it Yeah, I think that could be it. Like the showers, like the wa water definitely is the enemy. But also, um, sometimes I feel like even the humidity can affect how it wears. Ready for takeoff is very strange. Like, uh, I remembered when I was editing the smooshy marble. Um, do you guys remember how badly that peeled off? And I have no idea why.
I mean, if you don't mind him being called butt spot kittens, you can change butt spot's word from butt to meow. <laughs> or if you mean just doing your own because you want to do your own, because that's also cool. Oh, this is not closed. Hello, Barney. Okay, we're just about dry here. So, I think I do want to give the black a little bit of hollow. Just to make it like a little bit shiny. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Beanie, you want to come show your butt over here? That's a nope. Daggett's cat comes and kind of stands on his chest, except his webcam goes a little lower. So it's like her butt is like, shows up just perfectly when she climbs up in his lap. Okay, so we're gonna use one coat black and the scattered, and then we're gonna use Merida, which I'm going to pronounce correctly. <laughs> um. Like, is Merida hollow enough on its own? You know, maybe I'll... I'm considering, like, black and then the green and then the scattered hollow on top, like, to oomph up Merida's hollow and to just kind of bring a continuity to them instead of doing the black and then the scattered hollow and then Merida on top of that. Merida. I don't know why it's like I say it the wrong way and I immediately know, but I just can't stop saying it the wrong way. I think that kind of makes sense. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> the colors that I'll be using for this manicure are One Coat Black from Hollow Taco, Merida from Zoya, and then I'm going to top them both off with the Scattered Hollow Taco. Was that awkward? I kind of think it was. Oh, when is the last time I, I might want to, like, give us a little gentle shake. It's been sitting there for a little while. Anyway, okay, so this will save us time because it is, of course, one coat black. So we're not going to need to worry about a second coat at all. It's kind of hard to tell exactly how much is in there because it's so pigmented that the bottle is a little bit stained, but I can tell that I do need to like get on that backup bottle. Okay. I'm trying to keep it like relatively neat. Minimize cleanup time. I'm questioning my decision to, to make it at the tip. Like a part of me wants to put it at the cuticle. No, I think the tip is the right call. I don't know. What do you guys think? They, bo they would both look good, probably. God, I'm getting like messier and messier as I go along. Like the pinky was absolutely fine.
Okay. <laughs> Maybe he thinks there's meat in there. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go with it. Well, obviously, because I'm like moving along already, but also because we don't have time to dilly dally. Did any did anybody racers go look in in our racing Discord and see if there's anything posted for plans yet? Speaking of, <laughs> Dino, hello. I hope you're doing well. We are. Uh, we're trying to go fast ish I mean not so fast that we sacrifice nail art but just fast enough to not waste time yeah yeah some days my hands are more steady than others it's not too bad today plus like I just got the chubby sidewalls I mean like I don't know how to not get polish on these parts of my finger. I just, I, I literally can't. Or I literally can't not, cannot, can't, wait. You know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, yeah, Dino showed up because we're going to use hollow. Just, just a, well, I guess not just a little bit. Not a ton. I mean, I could have gone more hollow. But I think this will be... Oh, that was... That was a bad one. <laughs> um, I think this will be tastefully hollow. Well, sometimes you can... You can see kind of right there. A little bit of a tremble in my hand. But, like, don't let that stop you, you guys. You can, you can work with it. If I can do it with trembling hands and if you think you can't do it, then you can do it though. Was that inspirational? I kind of doubt it. Like going slowly helps a lot. I mean, sometimes actually going slowly doesn't help. Sometimes going fast helps. This is like go slow and it just exaggerates everything even worse. I wish I could change I just would like like one additional minute or so on that like lens retract that it does um, okay this is drying let's give it just like another moment to dry <laughs> excuse me so we're gonna do well we, we just did um one coat black and we're gonna do a waterfall with Merida camera and then we're gonna like coat them both with uh, the scattered hollow taco that's hollow you guys not silver please believe me <clears throat> yeah get your laundry amethyst I saw those. Did you, uh, did you like buff them on, bro? No, I, the flaky would detract too much from the waterfall, Dino. And I think the, the linear would make it too, like, bright. Like, I don't want it, like, too bright. Okay, now, here's another question, and we need to decide this right now. Um, am I... Am I doing a jagged? Okay. Am I doing a thin waterfall or a chunky waterfall? And am I doing a jagged waterfall or a shaped waterfall? I think thin makes more sense with one color. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I have some like that too. I think the ones I have are from Wet and Wild, like several, several. Oh. Well, the hollow will cover it up. I don't know how that happened though. Uh, <laughs> okay it's fine it's fine though okay we've got a small brush we've got a small lid we've got a polish that we're going to put a small amount of out of amount out of i can't talk you i'm i'm sleep deprived okay and it's luke's fault if luke's still lurking it's your fault luke and i and i forgive you i did not get enough sleep Hmm. Okay, we. I do wanna. Oh, what's this? Oh, <gasps> I left myself notes. Oh, yeah. Now you guys can't see the notes. It's a secret. I need to see how Marita paints. Like, I just need to see if I what direction I need to go. Like, it would be easier to pull. You, like, you know, like when you, you load up the brush and then like you, you paint like that, like the two ends. So like, see like that one was kind of chunky, but this one was like not bad. Or do I need to like make the effort to you know because okay so like if i'm doing it like french french tip direction like if i do like this then i'm getting the start of the stroke at the at the feathered end of the waterfall whereas if i go like this direction then i'm getting the end of the stroke as the feathered part of the waterfall yeah that's what i'm gonna have to do i can't like, I can't get a, like, a not chunky start. Okay. <clears throat> well, there's no time limit, Dino. You can post them after, like, weeks after you've done them. I was looking at a uh, ILNP has a really gorgeous collection I keep glimpsing on Instagram that I'm definitely like not in the market to buy right now but would really like my hand itches but like obviously I can't itch it with like partially dry nails I kind of want to okay let's just let's just move along <clears throat> A winter Halloween collection? Is it the one that already came out or is it another one that's like that same kind of a finish? Because they already had a hollow collection that I really wanted. But I'm like I'm kind of on a no buy. I'm not like on a firmly enforced no buy, but like I haven't I haven't made any large nail polish purchase recently. Re recently? prepare for an influx wait an influx of what oh an influx of polish to want it okay i have to i have to take a moment and look at this where's this opening oh oh actually that uh what is what is this one this under wraps looks awful damn similar to Mariah, like a kind of a chunkier level of hollow but isn't that a very well y'all aren't seeing what i'm seeing but you you guys can go look on the link the the furthest green one like it's a very gem gem toned emeraldy green yeah okay so these are not like their other ones i i really like the look of them though fuck Ooh. I mean, man, 
Yeah, Dino. Did you you know the one the other ones I'm talking about? Yeah. I I don't remember if they were a summer collection or a spring collection. I know I know they were like this year and like after it was cold. I think. Like in the warmer months, but I don't remember beyond that. These are better. I don't know. They're different. They're very different. The colors are a lot bolder, and the hollow looks a lot. Like I said, chunkier. Um, might be called geodes. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't get them. Like when I know I can't just like buy polish, I try not to like, like I don't want to be completely like not know what's going on, but I also don't want to be like, oh, I want it so bad. So I don't like, I try not to obsess over it, if that makes sense. Okay. Go camera please oh camera turn on please there we go <clears throat> oh come on camera tutorial camera please why are you doing this to me why won't you focus there we go <clears throat> um I've got a small lid that I'm going to use to put out a little bit of the green. And then I've got a kind of small to medium size striper brush that I'm going to be using to do the painting. I'm going to get some of the polish out and just start drawing in a jagged waterfall starting at the tip and pulling toward the cuticle and keeping the lines at different lengths until the tip is filled in and then I'm going to go ahead and repeat that on all my nails. You know this is giving me kind of slime vibes also. You guys kind of see that? God it's dark. Can you guys even see it at all? Is the tutorial camera even picking this up? Shit. Shit, y'all. I'm sorry. Please believe me, it's beautiful. It's just very dark. Man. Okay, I, I, this is, okay, so you guys, you know how I said, we're just, we're not testing anything. We're just going to go right in. Like, this is why you test. I might have still gone with it. Because it's so, like, it's so much something that I like. <laughs> like, fuck it, I don't care that it's dark. It's beautiful because it is. But man, as far as like a recorded tutorial, it's not ideal. As far as a streamed tutorial, it's not ideal. Ooh, I'm getting a tremor. A little bit like a tremor in my right hand that's making my lines not smooth. This is not like turning out exactly quite how I pictured it, but I still really like it. But I know you guys can't really see it, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Man. I wonder, you know what, when I get, when I go to the other hand, I'm going to get a different background. Something other than the, uh, the paper towel to lower the contrast see though this I mean really this is very easy 
Um, I think the main thing is to not overload your brush too much because it'll make your your lines chunkier than you want them to be. But this is a really fast, easy manicure. Got some spots in the tip that need some filling in here. Mm. Just filling in and touching up. You can definitely tell, well, I, I can definitely tell, like, places where, you know, it's kind of like shearing out as you ran, perhaps a little bit short on polish on the initial stroke. And even though it is, like, dark on dark, I do want it, like, I do want the green fully opaque. So... Okay. Uh, <laughs> Concentrating, sorry. You, you guys, you guys know I can't, can't, can't always multitask. Okay. Ooh, camera. Yeah. Huh? You guys think? Maybe I can, in fact, even do that for the tutorial. So I'm going to record my right hand too. Hopefully I can... Sometimes when I'm painting left-handed I find it difficult to... like keep things straight for some reason like I tend to want to pull toward what would be like the inside of the hand so I'm just trying to not have an angle on this you know it's like my my hand wants to pull it like more more at this angle of course, I suppose I could just like turn my hand more. I don't know. It feel it feels much weirder. Of course, you guys you guys know. But it really do, I mean it doesn't matter if it feels weird as long as it turns out looking okay. And I don't feel like these look bad. Okay, I'm like a part of me is tempted to like Yeah, let's do it. We're, we'll just cover up that smudge with with paint With polish It's not even there you guys. Oh You're blurry camera. Could you please tutorial camera? It was good for a minute, right? Now it's acting goofy Oh, 
I'll get like a cramp in my pinky. Tutorial cameras are actually working much better with this black background too. I guess some, some dark colors are just too much of a contrast. I just, I don't know. I mean, like a lot of nail artists on YouTube use like a black background, but I just, I really like working on a paper towel. Like you need a paper towel. I need a paper towel. <laughs> you know? So. And they make like black party napkins, but like they're not like a nice paper towel. Like they're not something I'd want to do my nails on top of. This background I have right now is actually a mouse pad. An upside down mouse pad. Okay. Then we'll just touch up this hand, do the hollow, and call it call it a day. Well, call it a manicure. Call it call it time for a dinner break. See, like I feel like I've got more. Oops, I thought I closed that. Sorry. More tip green on my left hand than I do over here, but maybe that's I can take care of that during the fill in phase right now How much of this like I don't think the tutorial camera likes this angle I'm not sure that it's even necessarily in focus but I need this angle in order to see what I'm doing see what really needs to get filled in yeah and I think you guys can at least see yeah, you guys don't have like the super bestest angle either. I apologize. But I think you can see how I'm kind of trying to just like I said, fill in any gaps that are like obviously black or like give it a little bit more like tip coverage compared to some of these like ones that are very much shorter. Oh, just a just a glimpse of bean. High bean by bean. Five thirty four, dude, you guys, we're going so fast. How am I actually almost done? Of course, we need to do a little bit of cleanup. Just a little bit. Oh, I don't think I can hold my hand still in this position. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I'm missing, I'm missing chat. Cause I'm trying, cause I'm trying to go quick cause of time issues, but also because like I said, I am actually recording this hand and when I'm editing, it's like, like when I was editing the, uh, the Halloween jack-o'-lanterns and like in the middle of one of the clips there was like when my stream crashed and uh like I had to edit around all that so it just try to be mindful of the 
of the recorded aspect. Okay. Um, you like this, I guess. Meh. I need just a little bit more. Ugh. And like I said, just making it opaque, filling in any little, any little spots. I almost fucked up. You guys, you guys see this little, that little piece of polish on there? Wow. What a weird camera. What are you doing? Um, that finger barely grazed my pinky. That's where that polish came from. That's the pinky nails polish. See, now I like was, was stupid and I did that and I'd either have to edit that out or just cut this segment like prior to that because that doesn't need to be in the tutorial. Ooh, that got crooked. It's okay. Poor little right thumb. Okay. Oh. All right, hold on here. Oh. <laughs> it felt good all right so <sighs> I feel like it, this is the place to insert a you know dark like my soul comment but <laughs> all right so now like I, I need a napkin <laughs> so back to not being able to see properly I'm sorry Excuse me. This manicure does show up on camera a little better with a black background, but moving to a little bit of cleanup, I did need to switch back to my paper towel because I need to blot my brush. And I'm just gonna go up around the edges, clean up the cuticle or any little sidewall places that may have gotten some polish on them. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the additional hollow layer to sparkle up the black and kind of just give Merida a little bit more oomph. Oomph. Benny, he stopped and ate that treat, didn't he? Or did he stop and eat the treat on the way out? I wasn't looking. It was the other hand where I was really messy, wasn't it? I had somebody leave a comment the other day that they really appreciated me including the cleanup. Which I enjoyed because sometimes I question if people care about the cleanup. Because like a lot of nail artists don't. They just like, it cuts from one, one shot, one messy shot to one clean and beautiful shot it's like I see what you did there okay Bane why, why are you all the way over there Bane Why are you all the way over there, Benny? Why? 
It's looking at me like, duh, because you want me over there. Hey, Conra. Yeah, the ca the camera is struggling with them a little bit, but I, I am quite enjoying them. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. I am, uh, I'm sleepy. <laughs> well, Connor knows. Connor saw me before I went to bed this morning. <laughs> Cute butts. Oh. Hey, Angie. More realistic. Yeah. I mean, and that's kind of always been my thing. It's like, you know, nail art isn't simple, but it also doesn't have to be hard. But also, like, don't, don't be fooled by these tutorials that make it look really simple. Even though, I mean, people say that mine also make it look really simple, but I try to like keep bloopers and stuff in there and like keep it real. Welcome also to anybody that came in while I was deep within my cleanup. MGC. Should boys paint their nails? If they want to, why not? Why not? Color therapy is for everyone. I mean, what you do on your nails to me, it's like when people have jobs where they can't have certain kinds of nails, it's like, how does that possibly affect my job performance? Like, that's the type of shit that nobody else should care about <laughs> to me. Like, it's not hurting anybody. Mm. Hey, Athelus. Did I say hi to you before? Were you lurking? I don't know. Maybe I'm just confused. I think I ended up with like maybe five hours of sleep. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I regret nothing. Ooh, that I like the the sound of that. I really like the look of stilettos. I just know I could not, like I could not. I don't know if I could even see myself with them, but I know that like I would just put an eye out. <laughs> I literally would just be poking myself. Plus, I mean, stilettos on the thumbs obviously would be a no-go because game controller alright nice neat cuticles yeah some of them are crazy crazy long I, I mean, I'm not a person to be like, oh my God, how do they do anything? Because I mean, I've had my nails be pretty long and still be able to do stuff. But yeah, pointy. I don't think pointy is, I don't think pointy is for me. Just finished up your classwork. Good. I, I know that's got to be a satisfying feeling to have that out of the way. And we're not, I mean, we're, we're close to finishing up, but we've still got, I'm going to put some hollow on this, some additional hollow after we finish the cleanup. I also wanted to do the cleanup to give the green a little bit more of a chance to dry. Um, a lot of you guys know that, um, one of the only downside to the, the, the hollow tacos is that if your polish isn't all the way dry and sometimes even if it is dry, if it's really pigmented, God, my hand is... <laughs> my hand is getting like progressively shakier good thing we're done with the freehanding um it can tend to pick up some of the base color like bleed onto the brush so i'm gonna try to be careful of that and hopefully giving it this extra little minute to dry will help out with that oh no worries lurking is always welcome i sometimes i even lurk in streams that i'm normally 
more active in. But I would say, you know, streams that are I'm more of like a fan than than I consider them like my friends. I'm generally very quiet. Unless some topic comes up in chat that I really feel like I have anything to add my two cents about. I definitely think like when I get to Moon to do my emotes, um, I, I got to get a Lurk emote, right? Because Lurkers make the world go round. And especially like if you're doing your nails, like, you know, typing with wet nails is not... Uh, without risk, shall we say? There, I think that's pretty good. So on that, I mean, on that uh, side, I kind of expect people to be lurking. I got one more treat out here for you, Beanie. You want this little treat? Oh, there it is. He's not gonna come over here. Mm. Just fix his cuticle. Oh, does he have those cuticles that are just like, oh, push me back. Like, it'll be so good. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Well, some, and the things that I really like are certain, like, nail art designs where it's like, it takes advantage of the point. And it's like, I really like the nail art design, but I know for a fact that it actually would not look as good because of my nail shape. Not even so much as my nail length, but like the shape. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go, go in for this. Try to have a light touch. <clears throat> camera please stop shaking now that I've finished the cleanup I'm going to go in with a layer of the scattered hollow taco so light touch we're good was that in frame I don't even know if that was in frame Yeah. Light touches and uh, try not to like re overstroke. It's kind of like a flat, a fast glom, except you don't want to glom it too much because you want to try to keep the. Uh, the hollow distribution even. I think that looks pretty good. I see just a little. Ooh, you can start... Actually, the lights are being pretty kind to the hollow today. You know, it all... I mean, it does dull the waterfall effect. It almost turns it into looking like a gradient. Although in person, I can still see the waterfall a little bit more clearly. They're both good. You know, I'm actually... I don't know which one I prefer. I mean, we're, we're going to do hollow on the other hand now that I've got it started. But I actually, like, leaving it plain wouldn't have been bad either. Oh, camera, camera. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Can you see the pinky? It's tremblier than my whole my whole left hand combined. 
Whoa. That was almost bad. I almost nudged that. Okay. I'll uh I'll use this background for this hand. <clears throat> it's been enhanced. It's gorgeous. No, I like it. I really like this too though. <gasps> I don't know how that didn't smudge. Um I mean, you guys can see what I mean about it slightly obscuring the waterfall. And it's it's not as obscured in person, but I mean, I I always kind of have to take into effect how it presents on camera. Take into effect? Take into account. Yeah. I think some of it is probably too my meds. But... I mean, what you gonna do? <laughs> Can't exactly stop taking those. A little, a little bit important. Mm. Mm. I will give you guys flashlight time at the end. I don't know why I'm doing like slightly different technique on this hand too. Like on the other hand, I was trying very hard to go one side to the other. This one I'm kind of starting in the middle and going. Like on the other hand, I was doing more like. Hmm, missed a little there. Versus like just doing like a middle. Yeah, I don't know. Both work. You want to be mindful of your hollow application and dispersion. Hello, focus. Any focus. Any focus. There we go. I touched it. It didn't smudge. Look at that. That came off of this finger. Okay, let's get the sesh V on here before before things get any any more dangerous. Mm. <laughs> middle to sides for maximum spread yeah I was I guess I was trying to control the application more but I mean they turned out um pretty even it's not like you notice a heavier or lighter on one hand versus the other <clears throat> finally <clears throat> Finally, I'm going to finish everything off with a top coat, and as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. God, you guys, what if I won't be able to say that anymore? What if I fall in love with the super glossy taco? I'll have to have a Sesh Feet funeral. <laughs> Your loving memory. was a good top coat to me for many years. Whoa, that was a little bit glommy even for me. It's fine though, it's fine. Mm. Definitely need to remember to uh, re-up this bottle. I don't like having to work this hard to load my brush. Like, tilting it every time I dip. I usually don't let it get below like the halfway mark since I have a refill bottle. doesn't make quite as much of a difference because the like the scattered hollow taco already did part of the smoothing out between the uh, the waterfall and the base color 
but I can even tell. Can you tell on camera? Well, if it was in focus, maybe you could. Like these two that are top coated versus these two that are not. Like it's oomphed up the oomphed oomphed up the hollow a little bit. You see the difference? It's subtle. It's it's a subtle difference. <laughs> All right. Poor little bright thumb. All all glossied up. Yeah. I know, poor camera. Oh, yeah, there we go. Good camera. Good camera. Yeah, I like this. It's actually, like, not quite like I pictured it in my head, but, like, I like it. It looks almost somehow like a green to black hollow gradient on camera. Um, hold on to, I'll give you guys some, some flashlight time before we wrap up here. Okay. So a lot of times my nail art streams are like hours long because we're doing a lot of testing because I'm getting distracted because we're chatting and stuff. This kind of stands as an example of like nail art doesn't have to take forever and a half. Nail art can be accomplished in like about an hour. Maybe a little, little bit longer, I guess. But there was there was still some distraction in there, so. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes! Okay. <laughs> no, no focus, but you know. You can see them rainbows. I wish you would focus camera, but at least you're showing the rainbows. So yeah, I mean, that's almost in focus. It's almost like the nails are in focus, but the, the hollow is somehow not in focus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder would this Whoa, that was almost bad camera oh yeah we can get a little bit of a you know I looked when I was at Target like at other flashlights like and then I was like no we're just gonna stick with the, the flashlight that I kind of hate sometimes and the phone flashlight like this flashlight is strong enough to work even with the ring light on, but it's almost like too powerful. But anyway, there are rainbows on my nails. You, you can't always quite tell. Is this a little better for you, camera? No, no, yes, yes. Okay. <sighs> Cameras are so weird. Right? Have I said that lately? It's perfectly fine, bro. Expect, yeah, expected Atlas. <laughs> okay, the that tickled that tickled me because I remember one time when I was learning to play Mario, and I said to Darby that I was having trouble beating it. He said, "That's expected." <laughs> so that response always just kind of reminds me of that, and it makes me laugh. Yeah, just a little, just a little. Just a little, just a little rainbow to, to brighten up your day. So, um, plan is for me to be back streaming in about two hours. I'm going to have a dinner break. I'm going to eat. I'm going to see what's going on for race night tonight and, uh, come back and do some hollow night this evening with the hollow night racing crew. 
Um, of course, if you are new here and you would like to join my Discord for updates on nail art streams and Hollow Knight streams and uh, other things, I didn't forget about the like the picture slideshow stream, you guys. I just fuck. I don't know. It just hasn't happened, and I don't know that it's gonna happen. Like I haven't been planning anything for it to happen, so I don't know how that's like at all gonna work. What? What? Okay. I have found our destination. Is it the diamond shit? Oh no, be muted. Stop that. You guys, Squidman is doing an art stream. Squidman is doing art. We've converted another, we've converted another speedrunner into a, into a variety and creative streamer. Come on, ads, would you fucking be done already? I'm so excited, you guys. I, I love it when people that I follow are like streaming unexpected things. Oh, and hello. Did I say hi to you, Anne? Did you just get here? And thank you for alerting me to that shit. I think it's down now because I wanted to go see Amethyst's uh, ranty comment and it wouldn't load. So I haven't checked my emails, but I think my copyright complaint went through. <gasps> yeah. Dude, Squid is painting with diamonds, you guys. Squidman is painting with diamonds and we are raiding him. Uh, Squidman usually does some Mega Man. He's also down with the Hollow Knight, although it's been quite a long time since he played. And I think I'm pretty close to convincing him to do another playthrough. So maybe we'll get to see him do that. But, uh, um, oh, stamping with Matt. That's an interesting idea. It might. You know, I bet test like a couple stampers or maybe even test a couple mats. See how see how that goes? That's an interesting thought. Well, maybe one day I'll remember that and try it. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out. I started the raid. I need to remember that it will go off without me pushing the button if I do not wrap shit up quickly. As I said, I'll be back in about two hours. Thank you so much for hanging out this nail stream with me during this speed run of nail art on these beautiful green and black nails. Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening, afternoon, or morning, whatever time it happens to be where you are. And I hope I'll see you next time. Squid painting with diamonds. What's happening to Nevers? It's happening. Oh my gosh. I'm okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, if you are uh, in the future watching on YouTube, thank you for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed. Um, God, there we go. Get frustrated with this webcam sometimes, but uh, you know, it's a pretty good camera overall. Even my tutorial camera is having trouble with this. So dark, so sparkly. But um, is this all? Is this his music or is this his like raid alert? I don't even know what's happening here. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. If you'd like to join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash MSLP. And as always, thanks for watching.